everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review. QQQs here. Uh, the QQQs are, were long today, which I call the market as a long today. And it was a long today, and it is a long. And the market's higher. The market even got over 95. Uh, and I said, boy, this is tough. This is tough. And I was talking about it in the morning because I said, well, this is a long, it's a long, it's a long. And people are going to try to short this. It looks like a short now, but it's really a long. And I called it, and I called it, and I called it. And it really could have held 94.40, but instead it came into the next area underneath, which is 94. 425 and close today with a tail and a green bar and the bot the market will do a buy set of tomorrow market could gap up tomorrow market could gap down a little bit tomorrow and go market could gap down and go market could gap up market could gap over the high market could gap slightly up market is a buy tomorrow and we'll trigger a buy set of tomorrow no matter how it gaps unless we have some crazy 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 huge gap down which is just not going to happen so I was talking to someone yesterday, I don't remember who it was, about the market, and he was saying he wants to wait to buy into a pullback, into a correction. That's what he was saying. He said, I want to, I'm waiting for a correction to buy. I said, today, I, this was yesterday, this was after yesterday's trading. I said, this is it. Today was a correction. That's it. One red bar down, that's it. That's all the correction you're getting. We don't need to have a correction. You don't have to have a correction. There is no such thing as a correction. It doesn't exist. People are talking about corrections. People are talking everywhere about the corrections. This market does not need to do a correction and will not do a correction for what people think is a correction. Yesterday's red bar is it. You want to go long? Boom. Today. Tomorrow. Go. And you should already be in it, actually. But the fact is that if you're looking for some full-on big correction here in the market, it is not going to happen. Okay? And that's it. I said that to the person yesterday. I said that to the person yesterday. I knew the market when I got this morning was along when I saw it. When I saw it, because it was buying, it was creating the gap up in the in the morning this morning. It was buying, buying was making the gap up. Yes, this morning that was it. Yesterday, some people sold off, and some people were trying to short this market, which is crazy. And I've been saying that the whole year. Anyways, the market gapped up this morning, and it rallied, and the market's higher. And if you want a correction to go long, one red bar yesterday, that's all you're gonna get. You need to go long if you want to go long this market. If you like to go long, now is the time. And if you don't go long soon, you're going to miss it. And people have been talking about this. People have been talking about that. It is something that people have missed. You haven't missed it yet. The huge, 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 huge thing that's going to happen hasn't happened yet, but it is going to happen sometime. And again, I don't know the time of these things, but actually the market's been along for a while here now, and if you really saw it the way I saw it and followed my calls, you'd be in it. But the fact is that that is all you're going to get yesterday. Boom. That's it. You're triggering a buy set tomorrow, and we're probably looking to get over the high yet this week. I, I don't see how we can, and if we don't, we still trigger a buy set up and then rest and rest and then go next week because we're higher here. We're going to get over the high again, and people are missing all of this who are not in it, and they're waiting for some big correction because people think the market's extended. It's not. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. There is no such thing necessarily as a correction that has to be had. Nothing has to be done. The market doesn't have to have a correction at all. It doesn't have to have a correction whatsoever or in any time frame that people think is necessary. The market could travel up for weeks and months and years until it has what people think is a correction. It doesn't have to come in. It doesn't have to keep going higher. It doesn't have to do anything except for just move. That's the only thing the market has to do. Okay? So this idea of saying the market has to have a correction, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have to have a correction at all. It can just keep rallying. Look at the rally that happened last week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. Seven days rally. Next rally could be nine. Next rally could be 11. Next rally could be 25 green bars up with one rest day in between. There's no thing that it has to do this or it has to do that. It's true that things don't go in a straight line forever. That's true. That is absolutely true. However, sometimes the market and stocks rest. And that is a period where it takes a nap. And then it gets ready to go again, okay? So nice bullish market here. Good call I made this morning, seeing the market was along. You had to stay with it, broke the low of the day early, but then set itself up in the next support level, and that's why you got to watch these areas. But this market was not as short today, and, and it did go red at well, one point this morning, early, and it actually broke the low, but it immediately got bought, and, and it's going to continue to get bought, and it is just getting bought. And you see these huge, gymongous green bars on the 15-minute chart. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Go. And you're going to see more of these tomorrow now because everyone's going to see this in here. There it is. It's holding. I and mean, this is holding pretty well. Remember, these are areas. These are areas. There's an area. It's set an area there now, and it's holding. So every time it does something, it's setting another area. And they're all in here. Okay. And I hope everyone sees here, why would you need a correction for this? We haven't even gone anywhere yet. 
Look. Look at this. We haven't gone anywhere here. And all of this, all of this in here is what I would call or term as a rest period in here. This is all our market resting all the beginning of the year from January through May. Resting, 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 rally, come in, rally, rest, rally, rest, 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 higher. What do we need a correction because we rallied for the last month? No way. This market is just getting grinding. This people don't even know. I'm telling you right now, and I'm not making predictions. I'm seeing that I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this in advance. I'm seeing the way the market is trading. I'm seeing this right now. I'm seeing everything it does. I mean, every time it gaps. I'm reading gaps. It's how I'm reading the market well. It's how I'm reading the cues well, the spies well, the stocks that I'm trading. It's because I know how to read gaps. And how do I know how to read price so well? It's because I know how to read gaps. Everything that I know, every every intuitive thought that I have, everything I teach in the class, everything that I call when I train, everything I see when I do a video, everything I do when I teach, every I, I never have planned out what I'm going to say. Not when I do the videos, not when I do a webinar, not when I do anything, not when I do a class. Everything I do is right in the moment that I'm saying something, I'm saying that I'm seeing it, and I'm good at doing that and seeing something and reading the price because I am good at reading gaps. I've studied gaps for six years. There is nothing more important to understand how to read charts or price and gaps. That's it. If you want to be good, you got to learn how to read gaps. And you don't have to trade gaps if you don't want to. You don't actually have to day trade gaps. You don't have to do gaps at all if you don't want to. But if you want to get good at reading charts, you must understand, comprehend, and learn how to read gaps because it will teach you how to read what's going on in the chart, the overall trend, and how to understand price action because there is nothing more significant in any chart at all other than gaps. It's the most significant thing in the chart, period. End of story. And I am so good at reading it, so good at calling these things because I'm able to read what's happening in the gaps. Which gaps are good? Which gaps are not good? Which gaps are meaningful? And which gaps are nothing? And you got to know. And if you don't know, you'll make the wrong decision or guess. You'll guess and you'll guess and you'll guess and you'll guess and you'll guess. So anyways, what I was saying was people don't even know. People don't even know what is ha going to happen here, where this thing is going. People have no idea. They do not know. This market is just, this market hasn't even begun. It hasn't even begun. People are looking for correction to the downside. In a market that's bullish, which people recognize now, people are looking for correction to the downside in a market that's bullish right now, and the bullish move hasn't even begun. Hasn't even begun. Okay, that's going to happen here yet soon, this year. Hasn't even begun. I'm starting to have to think about this for myself here. There's going to be some really, really, really good long trades, I think, here for overnights in the next six months for entries. I really got to think about that. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. If you're interested in the GAT classes this weekend, July 12th and 13th, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks.